guys, one thing that we're trying out today, been trying out for a while, is the uh, Patriots solar powered battery bank. As you can see, it looks a little silly right here, but uh, I haven't found exactly where I want to put this pouch yet. Probably want to get it down away from my face and you know, down here a little more. But uh, the experiment today is to charge the phone while the battery is being charged through solar energy. And let's see how well that works. As you can see there, green and blue. So it's, uh, it's giving a charge as well as receiving a charge from the sun. And the phone is on Oh, can we see what percentage that says? It says 94. I don't 94. know if you guys are going to be able to see that. 94%. 19 minutes still full. Might be a good spot to fish. Might try here in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm Curry Roberts with Roberts Bushcraft. Behind the camera is Gabriel. Today I want to take a few minutes and show you my get home bag. Now this kind of goes against the conventional wisdom with most of what you see on YouTube and there's a lot of people that you know that have get home bags. Mine's a little different. It's not built for comfort. It's really built for speed. Let's take a look. So I'm going to take a few minutes and show you guys my summertime get home bag. I say summertime because this is built for speed. It's lightweight, and it's made so that I can run from point A to point B. With what I have in this pack today, I run with on a daily basis. I usually put about three miles a day down with this gear on. So we're gonna go through this. We're gonna do a 360 for you, so you can see what I'm working with. And again, this is the USMC Philby Hydration Carrier. Philby stands for a family of improved load-bearing equipment. It's equipment that the Marine Corps has issued for about a dozen years or so now. Afghanistan, Iraq, now actually it's probably been a little longer than that, maybe 15, 20 years. So it's been around a while. You can find these on the surplus market, depending on the quality, 15, 20 bucks, go up to 100 or more. Let's get into this. This is my summertime get home bag. It's the Philby USMC hydration carrier made of Cordura nylon. To start off with, we're going to go inside the contents of this pack. I'm going to start with the bottom. I'm going to go in the uh, lid here and then what's inside here. I put this pack together with the idea in mind that I would be able to run from point A to point B or walk and run from point A to point B. A lot of times when Gabriel has football games and uh, away games and then wrestling matches that are a little further away and if the truck the bug out vehicle which is obviously what that is if it were to break down somewhere along the way I need to be able to grab my pack and get home and I want to do it in a timely efficient manner so keep in mind that this has been built to my specs and to what is important for me and in my unique situation with getting from point A to point B. The lid is secured to the pack, it's sewn at the top, and we'll go over these a little, a little closer detail here. That lid is sewn on both sides. And it has a zipper on both sides. See there. And then the buckle holds it securely closed. So while you're running, while you're moving, this isn't uh, this isn't coming undone. So let's get inside this bottom pouch. Okay, a lot of stuff in here. Pink bandana. We'll go over this in just a moment. Uh, this can be used or is used for several different things. Obviously, one, signaling. It's easy to see. It's high-vis. 
If you need a way to pre-filter water, this can be placed over a canteen opening and water poured through. Now keep in mind this does not purify your water. It simply helps filter out some of the uh, larger floaties that you might have in there. Now we'll get back to another use for this in just a moment because there's something else in here that goes along with it. I'm going to put this off to the side. Now in this kit, this is a basic kit. Again, it's built for speed and movement and summertime use. I always keep Blistex with me. Great for chapped lips. It does have some SPF qualities to it. And if you've ever had a real bad case of chapped lips, you'll know the benefit of this stuff. Now it can also be used as a fire starter. So dual purpose gear, always look for that. Hand sanitizer kind of goes without saying. This really doesn't need a lot of explanation. Keeps your hands clean. It's an additional fire starter. And again, it's going to go along with this. We'll get back to that again in a minute. Gold Bond. This is good for feet and chafing around the thighs. And you guys out there that are runners, you know that chafing is a major issue. And it can stop you dead in your tracks. Now this. This is not in a properly marked container. Uh, but this is something that I picked up from my wife. She was just going to throw it away. And I think it had hair shampoo in it or some kind of body wash. But what I have put in this is sunscreen. And this is a 50 F SPF sunscreen, if I'm not mistaken. Summertime here in North Carolina, you've got to have some sun protection. Headlamp. Nighttime movement. This goes without saying. Uh, needs no explanation, really. Vont Spark Headlamp. We've been using these for uh, about a year now. And we've, you know, we abuse these things. We drop them on these rocks out here on the river. And uh, they take a lick and they keep on ticking. I have Dawn dish detergent in this, and it's used along with this. Now, to fully explain why these are used together, you'll notice that in this bag, there's no toilet paper. That's this. To keep this clean, you use a Dawn dish detergent to clean it off. Now. The major advantage to Dawn dish detergent is if you come into contact with poison ivy, if you know that you come in contact with it, you use that Dawn dish detergent to wash it off, wash your skin, and you won't break out into a rash. Those awful rashes that everybody gets when they come in contact with poison ivy, poison oak, things like that. The urethral oil is what causes the reaction on your skin, causes the itch and the irritation. Dawn dish detergent takes the oil away. It's excellent stuff. I keep in here a ferro rod. This is a new ferro rod. The uh, last one I had had just been eaten away or have used it so much. But this is one fire starter. And a big lighter. Honestly, in an emergency situation, this is what's used. Daytime hikes, things like that, you know, where non-emergency situations. This is what I go to. It's good to have this skill to be able to know how to use these things. But when I really need it, when I need flame, I need it fast, need it now. This is what I'm going with. Keep a very small multi-tool in here. This is a cheap old Winchester multi-tool that came with a knife kit many, many years ago. Now there's several uses for this thing. Obviously the scissors. You've got uh, small, small basic tools that come with most of this stuff. It's really, it, it's okay gear, to be honest. But the edge, that 90 degree spine on these, 
make for excellent fire starters. It's great at cutting fishing line. It's just a small mulch tool. Pretty neat little kit. Small and lightweight. And that's what I'm going for. Keep in mind, this is built to be able to move with speed. I have a very small boo-boo kit in here. Well, now, this is really more for uh, comfort. This is one of the comfort items that I like to keep in here. Cold brewed iced tea, English classic. It's got a very nice flavor. I enjoy this. But here's the uh, extra small boo-boo kit. First aid cream, triple antibiotic. Now, one thing about the triple antibiotic stuff, that's uh, a lot like Neosporin. I love Neosporin. This is great for chafing. This is great for just all kinds of uses. But inside here, there's a, a packet of Vaseline that I can use, uh, again, as a fire starter. Band-Aids, BC headache powder, cold and flu medicine. I mean, this is just a very small, small kit to help me get by. And that does it for there. Now in the very bottom, I have stuffed 25 foot hank of paracord. That's mil-spec paracord. Seven strands inside, the sheath on the outside. So you've got a lot of uses for paracord. I like to try to keep as much paracord in there as I can, but again, I want to stay lightweight. Now to kind of tie into uh, the first aid kit, on the outside I have a tourniquet. In my opinion, anytime that you, uh, if you have a bug out bag, get home bag, inch bag, whatever, whatever bag you have, I think it's important that you have something like this on the outside of your bag where you can get to when you need it. If you're having to reach for a tourniquet, your life can be measured in, in seconds. So keep this where you can get to it and get to it quickly or someone else can get to it for you in a timely manner. So that's on the outside of the bag. It's actually on one of the straps. Top lid of the pack. You have easy access to the bladder by lifting it up. Again, it's secured on both sides with this zipper. You have access to the bladder. This is a Camelback three liter bladder. Great piece of gear. We'll go over this in just a moment. First, I want to get into the inside of the pouch here. There's only one entrance. It's on the uh, right side. In here, I keep uh, some essential items. Ammo, spare mags. In here, I have a cup. This is a collapsible cup that we purchased from Walmart. Silicone, very lightweight. And the big reason that I carry this is because of this. Gatorade Thirst Quencher Powder. So, the bladder is something that I like to keep clean. So with this, I don't want any residual taste left inside that bladder. So I prefer not to put anything in that bladder that may leave some taste you know, after you know, three or four, even after three or four different uh, fill-ups. You, know, you can still taste some of this stuff. Uh, not just the Gatorade in particular, but pretty much anything that you might add to it. So what I like to do is I like to mix that inside of this. And that way I don't have to use this all at one time. Now, the funny thing with Gatorade is that uh, in enough quantity, it'll give me bad heartburn. Why, I don't know, but it just does. So, small quantities for me with that. Peanuts, quick snack. Mylar blanket. A thousand different uses for these things, guys. Use it to keep yourself warm with. You can uh, build a fire, reflect the heat back towards you. This can be used as a signal device. And in here, I have just a cheap little mirror. I'm gonna peel that film off of. Yep, there's me. Peel that film off of, and uh, that mirror is a light reflective signaling device. Now, 
Now, one of the most important, if not probably the most important item is my Sawyer Mini. As you guys saw in the in opening, you know, right here by a river, pretty much anywhere we go, there's water always near us. So some sources you can look at and tell that you should probably skip and go to another. Some sources, moving water like this river behind me. Now, we've been drinking out of it for years and haven't lost any limbs yet. But this is an absolute fantastic way to have clean, drinkable water. Now again, I like to fill up the bags and put filtered water inside of my reservoir. I don't want to just dip the reservoir into the river and have dirty water in there. I like to keep that reservoir clean. But this is a fantastic way to do that. And it'll filter, if properly maintained, over 100,000 gallons. Now, K-Bar Spork. It's a neat little tool. Lightweight. Has a little, uh, little knife in there. It's got a decent little edge on it. I'm going to slice up an apple pretty good. But it'll also cut meat. You know, it's a, it's a handy dandy little tool. So that concludes what I have in the top of this. Now we're going to get into uh, what I've got next to the bladder. The bladder is accessed on one side. It's on the right side. Put that ferro rod back up and zip that back. In here, I have a bunch of neat little toys. Now, uh, again, this is a lightweight bag meant for, you know, point A to point B as quick as you can. But in the event that I did have to stop and stay over the night, this just isn't going to cut it. It's okay for a snack along the way, you know, a quick boost of energy, but it's just not going to cut it. So, in here, I keep one MRE meal. This is a Tex-Mex four bean vegetable chili. You can have two meals out of this. So that's in the event that, you know, things didn't go as planned and I had to stop along the way. This is the bag for the Sawyer Squeeze, Sawyer Mini but it's also used for the squeeze. Water filter system. Now I have the cap for this bag as well. So once this reservoir is filled, I can cap it off and carry it along with me if I need to. One of the neatest inventions, <laughs> in my opinion, for backpackers is the ability to waterproof your gear inside your backpack. And the way that I do that is with these seal line max bags now max m-a-c-s that stands for marine corps stuff sack with enough clean folds to keep your gear clean and dry and waterproof cell phones in here bat uh cell phone you can put your cell phone in here batteries anything that you don't need to get wet you take this out put that in here fold it up it's fantastic lightweight now again to go along with if i had to stay overnight somewhere again keep in mind this is summertime not wintertime fall spring this is specifically summer where at night we're still in the 80 close to 90 degree range in some cases some nights but this is a uh, contractor trash bag now this has many many uses uh, Obviously, can use it as a poncho. You can use it as bedding. Take this and stuff a bunch of leaves and things like that inside this. This time of the year, you have to be careful with doing that. Really careful with doing that because ticks and things like that, big, big issue now. But this is another lightweight, easily stowable container that just has more uses than you can shake a stick at. And now we have the bladder itself. I'll see if I can show that. 
without having to take it completely out. But this is the Camelback bladder. The hose assembly snaps into place, has an O-ring there to keep it from leaking. And the whole system is just fantastic. Now one thing I like about this and pretty much any, any water bladder is the ability to make this a personal flotation device. I'll show you what I mean. Personal flotation device. These water bladders, fantastic, especially these uh, particular ones with the uh, issue to the Marines. Gear that's issued to the Marines, they're designed for 17, 18, 19 year old, 20 somethings who just hate life and want to destroy everything they get their hands on. Well, this is it. So, but the beauty of this is you can take that and blow it up. shut that valve off and now I can jump in that river and have a flotation device. $64,000 question. What am I going to do for shelter? What do I do for rain protection? Things like that. North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, pretty much guaranteed a thunderstorm every afternoon in the summer months. That's just the way it is. You're going to have high humidity. You're going to have high heat. Those two things mixed together equals thunderstorms. A military poncho is the way to go. I'll show you this in just a second too. Military poncho is the way to go in my opinion because these things are made out of good material. This is an official issue USGI poncho. This is uh, from the 80s, I think. I'm not exactly sure how to date these other than by the color so this is uh, probably early mid 80s not exactly sure when the uh, Marines started adopting the BDU camouflage pattern for the ponchos but it was probably uh, yeah late 70s early 80s this is my shelter with this I can set up uh, an a-frame type shelter I can put it on and wear it and just kind of crouch down and hunker down and get out of the elements for a little while. Or it can just be set up as a just a normal tarp shelter to get out of the sunshine, get out of the rain, things like that. Have a little fire, kind of knock the uh, chill out. Because even during the summer, you can still go hyperthermic. The wind, the rain, it will chill you to your bone and it'll do it quick. So having shelter and the ability to stay warm is just as important in the summer as it is in the winter. Now, I've said before in previous videos that I didn't like this pillow. Well, I will say that having a pillow is better than having no pillow. Again, the bag is designed to get from point A to point B and it's fast as possible and as fast a time as possible but in the event that I did have to stay somewhere overnight I want a pillow along with my shelter a lot of the weight of this system comes from the water that I'm carrying and again where I'm located in North Carolina and where I'm trying to get to in North Carolina there's water everywhere there's water all around me, there's creeks, there's ponds, there's, there's, always, there's always some water. I'm not very far from water. So one general idea that I like to, one way I like to run with this gear is to run kind of light on the water. That's the heaviest part of this system. With the water filter and that bag where I'm able to stop and resupply that water, refill that water to get to the next point is a big bonus. Here's the uh, nameplate. Military gear really kind of uh, there's a lot of in the bushcraft in the bushcraft community. There seems to be a lot of pushback against using military surplus for uh, bushcraft type activities. Now it can be it can be said that bushcraft and survival is not the same thing 
but it's like an onion. Peel the layer back from one, you're gonna find the other. Gabriel and I both have found that for us, military surplus is exactly what we want. It's exactly what we're looking for. The terrain that we're in, that we crawl around in, that we're running around in, that we're jumping in, I just don't know that some of the civilian packs that cost two to three times more than what we're able to get military surplus gear for would stand up to the abuse that we're putting on it out here. And that's up against these hard, sharp-edged rocks. That's in that river. That's uh, crawling through briars, things like that, uh, swamps. <laughs> some of the baddest places on earth are North Carolina swamps. And if you don't believe me, come try some. There's some bad places. That is my get home bag for summertime use. Now, spring, fall, winter time, that's going to change drastically. It's going to be a lot heavier because you're going to need more gear. You're going to need more gear to keep you warm. But this is my summertime get home bag. And I'll see if we can roll in some footage of exactly what it weighs in the condition that I'm having here right now. Personal protection. Big believer in the 2A. We love our guns on this channel. This is the Smith & Wesson 45 Shield. I run with this on a daily basis. I have a knife and in here, identification. This is a concealed carry permit, driver's license, debit card, things like that. And it all stays within this Comfort Tac waistband. I'll show you that here in just a moment. But the knife, it's an MK, it's an M16-14. CRKT. That's a nice blade. Shield. This one has been in that water with me. It's been in the ocean with me. It has been in the sound with me. This thing has been, uh, it's kind of been through its paces. Love this firearm. Now, eventually I'm probably going to uh, buy maybe the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. Get more capacity because usually well the name of the game is capacity but i love my 45s now one of the big complaints people have about these smith and wesson m p line of pistols are the uh, grips this is a very very aggressive texture on this grip i happen to like that texture but obviously you can see that I've got a piece of ranger band around that. The main function of that ranger band is so that while I'm running, it doesn't rub the skin off my stomach. And it has done it several times. Done it to the point where I had to put ranger band on it. The spare magazine is kept here. This is detachable. You can adjust this however you need to. But that's the spare magazine. I have two of the uh, seven round mags and then one six round mag that stays in the pistol at all times. So as you can see, it's pretty well concealed. Picked this up about a year ago. Been using it a lot and I absolutely love this thing. It keeps that firearm secure to me while I'm running. Enough room for a knife, credentials in here, spare mag on the side. Now again, this is, uh, it's all Velcroed on, so you can rip this off and you can put it somewhere else if you need to. But I wanted Gabriel to put that on so you guys could get a view of what this does, what it is. It's really just neoprene with uh, a little bit of Velcro on it. And it's designed to be able to wear a t-shirt, gym shorts, sweatpants, things like that, and still be able to carry your firearm concealed. So that's my summertime get home bag. It's unconventional. It's not what you're normally used to seeing. You're normally used to seeing big bags, lots of stuff. This is a minimal kit. Get me from point A to point B as fast as I possibly can. Because in that situation, pretty much any situation, I want to get home as fast as I can. 
That's what this kit's for. Leave your thoughts and comments below on whether you like this kit or not. Is it too much? Is it too little? Tell me what you have in your bag. Defend the weak, fight for what you love, and may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. God bless.